When you're expecting the worst and you're catastrophizing, you might do this in all areas of your life. You might do this more with some areas. For example, your partner is not texting back and then you start thinking that something must be wrong or you have a problem with, your, with, a, with a client and you make it bigger than it actually is and you think, oh, this is going to be the worst case. It's going to take me so much time or maybe he's going to be unhappy. He's telling other clients and then I lose even more clients. You immediately start to catastrophize very quickly or maybe about your physical health. Maybe you're also catastrophizing, expecting the worst, if you're having a, a, a very massive illness. Could be in a lot of areas, could be in all areas, maybe a bit more in some than in others. But basically, when you catastrophize, you are actually getting anxious without a proper reason. You convince yourself, you convince your mind and your body that actually you need to be anxious right now. And this is not always helpful. Maybe you're rationalizing it to yourself, um, and you're saying, well, if I expect the worst, then I can maybe prevent it. So maybe there, there is some helpful aspect to that. And to a degree that's right, but you're probably expecting so much and so often the worst and you're so much catastrophizing that it's actually not helpful. You're super anxious and often this catastrophizing becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Simple example, you have a crush on somebody and you think, oh, they anyway don't like me. I feel like they, they think I'm weird. Well, how will you probably behave? Probably you're not going to be very proactive in that um, relationship and not even build a relationship and connection, not even have a proper conversation. And therefore, yes, things will never work out. And then you tell yourself, well, I, I told you I, I was right. So often expecting the worst invites the worst. So, and I want you to know that. And here in this video, I want to talk about three basic steps that you can undertake to actually not expecting the worst anymore, not catastrophizing all the time. The very first step is awareness. If you name it, you tame it. And the last years, you use specific type of neuro, neural networks in your brain to always expecting the worst. There are even brain parts, for example, the amygdala, it's a part in your brain which is often about fight flight and uh, checking out danger and this is very alert when you get anxious and when there's potential danger and you train this area a lot it even maybe got even a little bigger more dense but anyway it's working better and this pathways that you build you want to relearn them but first of all you need to be very aware of what is happening what is going on oh i just noticed i was again catastrophizing or i am still catastrophizing maybe at some point you can even say oh I see it coming. I'm about to catastrophize. And that's the sweetest spot you want to be at. That before you start catastrophizing, you already become aware of it. Maybe you're still doing it, but you're at least aware of it. This is the very first step. If you name it, you often tame it. And then when you become aware of those patterns, how often you're catastrophizing and expecting the worst. This is, by the way, ridiculous. If you really become aware and really check this very consciously throughout the day, you're expecting the worst every couple of minutes potentially. And, and when you are aware of that, then you want to do a reality check. That's the second point. You want to really question the very foundation. Is this really likely? Is this client really writing me a bad review? Is this client really hating me? Is my partner really not happy in this relationship anymore? Or is she just on a road trip with her friends right now? Do a reality check. You can even talk out loud, but check what's actually going on. How likely is it actually? And then in the third step, I want you to find an alternative perspective. Something that you believe. Not just saying, well, I'm unhappy and now I'm just happy. I'm just happy. That feels like you're a, you're a fraud. And even though maybe um, things are getting better, th people start to like you more, for example, you still feel like a fraud. They just like me because I'm pretending. And you don't want to pretend. It's, an, it's a natural desire of human beings to feel authentic and be who they are. And you don't just want to tell yourself something else that you actually don't believe, but you just wish for it. I'm just happy. My clients are happy. My life is happy. I have a lot of money in my bank account. Well, it's not true, potentially. And if you don't believe it, it doesn't work. So this alternative perspective needs to be something that you believe, but is more useful. And if you go through those three steps, you become more aware of it. You have a reality check. 
you think about alternative perspectives, what could I believe instead that is actually reasonable and I do believe but is more helpful. If you do this over and over again, then you start to think differently. You're not expecting the worst anymore. Or at least before expecting this wor the worst case was your entire reality, this was so big and now you can make this a little smaller and you notice, yes, I have this thought, but I also have a lot of other thoughts and I'm not uh, fully in this reality of the worst case. I can just observe this thought that I'm a little anxious that something might happen, but I can also steer my, my thinking in different directions. And that's what you want to learn and train. And it takes a little bit of time because over years you trained this worst case catastrophizing patterns in your brain. This is a, a highway in your brain, very accessible, especially when you're a bit tired, a bit overwhelmed, a bit stressed, and then you more, more connect and think about things that you reoccurringly think. You go back to your old habit thoughts, thought habits. And there's this other little path, this, this very little hiking path, which is your positive thinking, more helpful thinking. And this is something you train now, and this path is becoming bigger and bigger and bigger and also turning into a highway at some point. And the less you use this expecting the worst high case highway, this also one becomes smaller because the brain works according to the concept, use it or lose it, and you wanna train that. So become aware, do a reality check, and change your perspective. If you wanna work on this, and if you actually want to have some individual guidance, and actually even work out a custom strategy how you can let go of this catastrophizing for good, and not expecting the worst case anymore, then I suggest that we're talking, there's a link below the video, you can sign up for a free first call, and we can talk about how you can overcome that specifically for your personality in your situation and I talk to you soon.